Hey, a lot of you have been lost, and where you been? You haven't been subscribing to the Skunkwork channel. All right, stay till the end, find out why. All right, here we got the shaft. We're making it 17.4 stainless steel. Um, you can see how long it is. It's very, very long. So, you guys are wondering, how can you do that so great without getting chatter marks, without getting vibrations? It's so long, it's one inch thick. So how can you do that? Well, stick around and you'll learn how. Again, there's a 17.4 running at around 330 RPMs. Look at that chip coming off that. And it's running about a nine feet rate. So if you stick around a little longer, I will show you in detail how to cut something this long. You can see here how the chip just comes off the very nicely there's no ch tool marks shadow marks vibration or anything learn how to do it all right stick around till the end all right you'll enjoy it all right let's get some mud on our tires here because we got to make these steel shafts for these augers right here now this is dangerous work so don't play on an electrical fence because you'll end up electrocuted like this guy and you'll get end up with big Big balls. Alright, we're going to make these steel shafts right here, as you see here. They're made out of 17.4 stainless steel. Now, the auger is 28 inches long. So the shaft steels are 36 inches long. Like I said, they're made out of 17.4 stainless steel. And I'm running the RPMs about 330 with a feed rate of about 9. So you can see how it's cutting here. You get a nice little chip going on there. And you notice the oil stains on the shaft. You don't have to be flooding it or squirting it. Just apply the oil along the shaft. Once the tool gets makes contact with the oil, that's enough lubricant. And it cuts down on all the smoke. You can see a good detail right there of the tool and the contact of the chip. And the finish is very excellent. We're getting a nice finish on there. And the key to this project here is the length. 36 inches long and the shaft will be finished at 1 inch. So you can see how very long it is and narrow and thin. So I'm using the steady rest. Now here you would cut the other half. You can only cut the first half going forward and the second half cut it in reverse going towards the tail stock. This will eliminate vibration, chatter marks. And all that nasty stuff when you encounter these long length and the the diameter, very small diameter. And so this, by cutting in reverse towards the tail stock, eliminates a lot of that chatter and vibration. So you to keep it in there nice and tight. You see, I tried to cut half and half, but if I was to cut it the normal way going towards the chuck it would be very difficult and I would have those chatter alright thank you so much for watching I uh, hope to bring you more videos and thank you again hello Blue Garden subscriber well, it comes to my attention that you're not being notified when I put out new videos that's why nobody's watching so with my friend here, Mike Murphy, we will understand how to set our notification on our phone and tablet. So every time that channel publishes a new video, you will be notified. First, I'll show you how to do it on a desktop, and then I'll do it on a mobile device such as an iPhone or an iPad. Okay, so here I am in Chrome on my MacBook Pro. Just go to at the Blue Garden 2060. So, to subscribe to a channel on YouTube, just click on the big red button in the upper right that says subscribe. So, once you subscribe to a channel on YouTube, you'll get this little bell right here. Click on the bell, 
choose to send me all notifications for this channel and that way every time the channel publishes a new video you will be notified so you don't have to keep checking it's pretty convenient now let me show you how to do it on an ios device okay so here i am on my favorite youtube channel on my iphone to subscribe to any channel just click on the subscribe button next to the profile pic now you'll get the little bell up here click on the bell You'll have some options. If you click on this bottom right options, now you can tell it how often you want to be notified. All, every time the new video is published, you will be notified. If you click occasional, that will be based on YouTube algorithms, then none, and you can always change your notifications. And here I am on an iPad. It works exactly the same way, but it doesn't matter if you're on the front page of a YouTube channel or if you're on an individual video. If you see the subscribe button, the red on the right, just click on the subscribe button and the notification bell will appear immediately after. Click on the notification bell, and then you can look on the bottom, the same thing. If you click options, you have the option to choose it all, occasional, or none, and you can always change this at a later time. That is your quick tip, how to subscribe to a YouTube channel and receive notifications. Cheers. Okay, thank you very much, Mike Murphy, for the explanation. I hope my subscribers will follow the instructions and get all my videos. Thank you so much.